Secondary hyperparathyroidism is an adaptive response of the body to persistent disturbances in mineral metabolism and is associated with parathyroid gland hyperplasia. The parathyroid glands produce and secrete PTH, which is the main regulator of serum calcium. It's important to remember that parathyroid gland function has two distinct regulatory pathways. There's a calcium sensing receptor pathway and a vitamin D regulatory pathway. These two pathways have independent and differing effects on PTH production, secretion, and parathyroid gland hyperplasia. The calcium sensing receptor is the primary regulator of immediate response and need for PTH. It is also responsible for decreases in PTH messenger RNA and ultimately in parathyroid hyperplasia. The vitamin D pathway is different in that its primary action is to downregulate the production of PTH messenger RNA. This pathway may affect hyperplasia of the parathyroid glands as well. Within the parathyroid gland, PTH production takes place in the parathyroid chief cell. Once produced, PTH is stored within the vesicles in the cell. The calcium sensing receptor located on the surface of the parathyroid chief cell is thought to be the principal regulator of PTH secretion. When calcium is not bound to the calcium sensing receptor, vesicles move to the cell membrane and release their stores of PTH. As the calcium sensing receptor is activated by increased serum calcium levels, PTH secretion from the vesicles is inhibited. Over time, as kidney function decreases, persistent increases in PTH secretion and synthesis may not be adequate to maintain calcium levels. In response, the parathyroid glands may adapt, first by upregulating the amount of PTH produced per cell, then, when this too is insufficient, by increasing the number of parathyroid cells available to produce and secrete PTH. This process of cellular proliferation is known as parathyroid hyperplasia, which leads to enlargement of the parathyroid glands.